Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have got quite a few things and possibly something else to add on to this video if the delivery um, comes while I'm filming. So me and my mum, every maybe couple of months we do, I guess, a largish order on every crafts a pound because it's so cheap. So the delivery is $4.99, I think, $5.99, but it's really quick. I ordered this, it was late in the afternoon on one day and then it came the next day. So you get a next day, you know, almost like express delivery. So for that reason, I think they're really great and I've always received my product. It's always well packaged. They're really helpful. I've phoned them a few times and stuff. So yeah, I can't fault them. I think they're a great company. So I saw these that were being sold. So you get 50 sheets, 230 GSM card stocks. So they've got this red and they've got the yellow and the red was a real nice Christmas red. So I'm starting to get my Christmas commissions coming through already so I do need to get some of the Christmas basics and then this is the yellow here as well so yeah really really nice so I got those for myself now everything I'm showing you now is what my mum has purchased so she is again starting to kind of think about what she wants to do for Christmas this year in terms of her you know paper crafting the cards she's going to send out gift bags things like that she does make things for charity she makes things for her friends so yeah she does do a lot of crafting herself so a lot of you that follow me um, last year I purchased the Christmas um, Village by Hell's Couple Ditch. Love this collection so much. I still adore it now, but I have already had sneak peeks of what is to come with uh, the new Dovecraft and first edition papers. And oh boy, you guys are going to love it. So, but my mum, she loved this one and everything here I'm showing you is a pound. So this is the 48 sheets. This is the six by six. I'm going to keep looking out on there because no doubt the larger ones will pop up again at some point. Then you've got the little bells here. So these ones here, again, a pound. These are beautiful. These are little felt toppers um, and they're little Christmas gifts, parcels, all wrapped up, so there's those ones. This is from the Dovecraft Little Red Robin. Again, it's all a bit mixed up, so as it comes out, I'll build the collections. Really cute little set of dies there, though. You've got the snowflake. That says merry and bright. You've got the bow and the beautiful little robin there. Die cut that in a couple of colours and you'll create a lovely little bird. So you get the five there. Again, that was a pound. These three here I've got for myself. I haven't seen these before. I haven't even seen these in places like The Range, where they stock this brand. But basically plastic which some of you might think oh that's a bit tacky but actually they look really nice and the idea I've got for these is when I'm making like gift bags and maybe creating a nice topper on the front these will look really nice kind of like nestled behind the topper you know something like that I just think they're gonna look nice or on the top of a gift box you know I just think they're gonna look really really good for Christmas projects so I've got the you get three six there in the silver and then I've got the same in the gold. And then I've got these ones here. And these are these here. Great big sprigs. Really, they're going to love. I mean, you could even make like a wreath. You could cut these again. In fact, I will end up cutting a lot of these. Let me just show you because I don't like that big bulky bit of, um, but it's such a soft plastic. I don't like that bulky end on them. So again, that's completely optional. But now by cutting that down, You've got all these lovely, and they're flat on that side, and then, but how lovely are they going to look? Again, and they'd look good as antlers, really decorative antlers there as well. So yeah, I love these, I'm really, really pleased with them. So yeah, if you cut them down, you've got absolutely tons. I mean, each of them has like five of those sprigs, so they're really good. Again, these were cheaper, these ones here, I believe, are 50p each. These were in, I think, I want to say they were even in the clearance, clearance section. I get a bit excited when I go on their website, so apologies if I've got that wrong. The, the most they're going to be is a pound, but I'm pretty sure these were cheaper. So yeah, so I've got all of them. They're definitely going to get used. You'll see them featuring a lot. Then more bits my mum's got. So this is the Dovecraft. This is last year's Time to Sparkle collection. These are beautiful uh, dimensional stickers. You get two sheets, so that's one side. And then on the other side here... They are, they're lovely, you know, they look good on the on the website, but when you see them in person, they're, they are, they're lovely. So you get those, same collection, you get these here. So these are the glittered and enamel dots, you've got the gold, like a gun metal and black. These are the 16 wooden shapes, you've got the reindeer, you've got the snowflake, I think that's it. But these look lovely if you use your Versamark on and then sprinkle your embossing powders and heat set, so you can have nice cut and, you know, 
glittery kind of shapes or you can colour them in so they're really good these are lovely great for shakers because they're the flat discs so these they're, they're sequins but they're the disc ones so again they, they move really freely they're lovely so there's those then also part of the same collection these are brads which I actually thought they were little kind of um I guess like beads really oh they're brads which is even better so just the split pin get that one out um really nice so you get eight there these are your sentiment toppers really nice love the font love the colors that they've chosen you know that gold foiling I think it's lovely she got Merry Christmas and with love then this is a different collection this is festive wonder but because these are gold they go perfect with the time to sparkle and vice versa so these this collection does kind of work quite well with the festive wonder as well so they're really pretty they're six glitter flowers really well made beautifully done those I love them um, then we've got this one here this is the magic of Christmas but this works really well with the red robin so they kind of work across. Now these are quite heavy. You get four of them. These are little charms. And these are beautiful to have, you know, if you're doing a Christmas mini album or, you know, if you're just doing that really special gift bag and things like that. You could even make a nice little bookmark with these. So, yeah, loads of ways to use the gems there. More Christmas stuff. Not everything's Christmas. I'm just going through what my mum's got. This is the Wonderland. And these are the embellishments. But again, the reds, you can mix in with that one. You can, you know, they will work with all kinds of things. Then you get these beautiful stickers here to and from noel but like i always say with the stickers if you stick them onto cardstock and then cut them out they become more like a die cut or an ephemera kind of thing so they're a lot i guess i think easier to kind of work with so um yeah i'm sure that's what mum will do with those so that one i picked up these ones for myself i just really like them you can make them yourself i know but um the mini envelopes there and you get six and they're just little gold ones just thought they were cute and this one here, I wished now I'd got a few more because for just to give us gifts, it's really nice just to give to some crafty friends. But it's a huge four by four stamp. Now it says let's celebrate, and which is just timeless. It's going to get used so much and it would be great as a topper on a gift box, gift bags, and obviously as a card itself as well. But it is just one big stamp. You've got little stars on it and I love it. It does say it's four by four, but I don't know, sometimes even when you see that, I thought, God, that's really big. And I didn't know whether it meant the plastic and it's a really good quality, lovely big stamp there. And that is going to look beautiful again, heat embossed. You imagine that as a big like silver topper it's gonna to look beautiful again that was only a pound then I got myself this one again I love nature's grace and I do still have some of the collection floating around so I picked up these puffy stickers I've used them a lot in past tutorials you would have seen them featured and I just really like them so I picked up some more of those and this is from an old collection of Dovecraft this is painted blooms but I just love these toppers and they can work with so many different collections anyway so just really like that it's the silver um, a lot of the toppers you can get with the gold um, foiling this one's got the silver which I like so I've got those this is more again anything Christmassy is is pretty much my mum so she's also got the red robin now she pretty much got the whole a lot of the range for this one it's a beautiful collection these are the felt toppers so you've got your holly with the little berries there really cute these are the toppers so you've got Merry Christmas and with love with the gold foiling there really really pretty You've got some wooden toppers there, again, great to colour or to just emboss. These are beautiful, I thought, again, so well made. These are six wooden toppers and these are your little poinsettia flower. Just really, really pretty and you get six in there. So lovely, like them. These are the buttons, so pretty. So again, you can add these onto your Christmas jumpers, you know, your cardigan or stuff, but obviously they are geared towards your paper crafting, but how lovely would these look on your gift bags and actually stitch through some thread and have them like on the bottom of the handles or something. I think they will look really, really nice. You get 16 wooden handles and wooden buttons there. Really, really pretty designs. This one here, the little red robin, these are the rosettes. Always handy to have. That button's come off there, but it only needs a little bit of glue to stick on. But otherwise, really, really nice. So they're all going to match well together. And then these here I've picked up, but me and my mum will share because I don't need all of these. And But I just love how big they are. These are chunky stickers, but they are on grey board, so they're nice and thick. And um, again, like I said, I've got my commissions coming through now. And things like this are quite classic, so they're perfect for me to use. But I've got the gold there with Merry Christmas. And then I've got the silver with Happy Christmas. I love the silver. I love how big they are. They're probably... These are one and three quarters by 
two and a quarter. That's a really nice size. So yeah, you're going to see them popping up a lot. And then I just can could not get these. I just think they look really nice. And these are great if you're maybe doing like a Christmas party. If you're doing like a load of little cupcakes or something, you could put all of those on little kind of um, you know um, toothpicks and uh, have them as little toppers on your cakes and things. I just think they're great. Love them. And then also picked up the chunky stickers and these are the Christmas hats, Santa's hat. I think they're great. Again, really strong, set on grey board, really glittery and you get tons of them. So yeah, picked up those. And then my mum got the 12 by 12 Little Red Robin papers. So all of this collection matches the papers and they are beautiful papers. I'm not gonna go through them all, but you can see the overview of every one you get here. They're single sided, but that's what Dovecraft always do. They're a premium collection, beautifully done and just wonderful illustrations. But I love, this is probably one of my favorites, this Robin here, sat on the branches. Got a beautiful kind of music sheets there. And I love this woodland green one. But again, just really, really lovely um, paper collection there. And then the other one she's got is the Festive Wonder. Again, really nice. She, she was going through it all. She said, oh, this is going to make so many lovely gift bags. And it's nice that I've got someone that gets just as excited as I do. But really nice kind of pieces to fussy cut here. You've got those snow globes. Just nice simple backgrounds to then add all of these lovely embellishments to. Um, got the antlers there. I love that one. You cut that strip out and you can have that like along the bottom of a gift bag. You know, you cut that strip and then add it, you know, onto like the plain red one there. There's just so many ways to play around with these and they're easy to fussy cut as well. Love that print. You got these ones here and then you get ones with texture, with foiling. Look at that. Oh, that is a gorgeous paper. And those ones, another beautifully foiled glitter one there even. And then that one on the top there as well. So she's got loads. She's so excited. She wants to start making stuff now. But it's still too early for me. Buy the stuff, but I can't start making too much. Not for myself anyway. Then I picked up this one. This is an old old one, but it's just one of those handy ones to keep in your stash. So if I, if I need to make a real nice kind of birthday party bag and things like that, then this is a lovely collection. Again, the, I don't think any of these were over a pound. They're all a pound each. Um, apologies if I have got it wrong, but it's only going to be two pound or even two fifty. That nothing's very expensive. These ones here. So that's the back one. So that's happy time, celebrate, yay, hip hip hooray. Just some really nice sayings there. Love that one with the ice cream and the sundays. And then that one. Really love it. It's going to make such nice gift bags. You got the one where with all the that one there with all the presents. Another one there. They're great to fussy cut. And they do do other bits to match this still for sale in Hobbycraft. So um, yeah, you can still buy all the accessories, but I couldn't see any on every craft's pound. Love that balloon one. And then this one here with the party hats. And then you've got some cocktails. That one there, really again, nice background. More birthday cakes. And then that kind of spotty background and then finishing off there with the stripes. So a really nice selection of papers there which will get used. And then I added some grey board onto the order. This is the grey board that I always buy and use in lots of my tutorials. Mum wants to make more of my uh, 6x6 and 8x8 paper storage boxes that I've got that I've shared and um, yeah I've got obviously some more projects lined up for you guys as well so we've got two lots there these are 250 a pack and you in the pack you get two 12 by 12 so that's my ones and then you get three a4s each then you get three eight by eights each and then you get four six by six yeah so that's how the packs come but you can buy these all individually as well just move some of that out of the way. Also was the pom-pom trims here. You get the Wonderland pom-pom trim and the Christmas Village. These are for me because they're just plain colours. Um, they're going to look great for a few things that I've got in mind. Um, my mum's not too keen on pom-pom trim, but I just, I love the stuff. So yeah, I picked up those two there. You get 60 pom-poms and that one, it says just one metre length. So you obviously got two metres in that one. But again, just thought they were really nice. And then I've received this cardstock and some swatches. Now this is from the lovely guys at the Paper Box Limited. So they contacted me a few weeks ago now. And we've been chatting and stuff. And um, I told them, obviously, what I 
what kind of cardstock I enjoy using and um, they've sent me a really nice selection along with these swatches now for you know anybody who obviously works with paper having swatches of them is just brilliant and these are really great swatches so here is the swatches of all their pearlescent cardstocks as you can see here and on the back as well or yeah is it on the back or on the front so no it tells you the the grammage as well so 230 300 which is just brilliant so it is the perfect way to be able to shop your cardstock and know exactly what you're going to get because it's quite hard sometimes to you know yeah to really know what you're going to get so and this is the glitter swatches now these ones don't shed so they're really really smooth but again beautiful so that's the yeah non-shedding that's pastel peach i'm not going to go through every one but just some of these colors oh yum they are so nice there's another one, yeah, this one here, I love this one. And that one there is Aqua Glitter. So there's those, and then you've got your coloured matte. So again, loads of different colours there. This is coloured matte again. Look at these, love that. Oh, neon pink, absolutely adore that colour. And where was the other one? There was a really nice yellow. Funny that because I've just got all that yellow, but this one's more of a lemon yellow. That one there, pale yellow, just love that one. Um, yeah, just loads. But again, all got the grammage on them, and I like that it's all you know it's written on the the cardstock as well. So it's, you know you can't forget. And then this is your vellum and parchment, and love it. How nice will that look when you die cut all your leaves and uh, kind of like nestle them behind your flowers that you've die cut. So that one there, and then you've also got oyster shimmer vellum, champagne shimmer vellum, some really, really nice colours here, colours I've not really seen before. And then at the back here you've got your parchment, really nice colours, some lovely designs. So that's all the swatches, and then with that they sent me, so I've got here card blanks and envelopes, they've listed everything that I've got. So I've got some really nice card blanks and then like I said all the envelopes there. I'm not going to get it all out now, it's just kind of to give you a bit of an introduction to the paper box if you've not heard of them before and um, for me to kind of really you know try now and, and see what I think because I've not used papers from them before so I'm always happy to you know try something new and see what they're like. So this here is the A4 matte papers. So they sent me the lilac, cool blue, mustard yellow, candy pink, dusky pink, berry pink, dusky blue, dusty blue, sorry, uh, pillar box red, forest green, burgundy paper, aubergine paper and damson purple. So they are pretty much all 140 GSM. I've got a couple there that are 120 or 125. Just to give you a quick little look there, you can kind of see how these colours, I mean these are going to be used for obviously when I do my matting and layering and um, die cutting and so on but it's just a really nice variety of colours coming through there so that's some of them there you can see but a real nice mix, so that's those but I'm going to make sure I keep them in these plastics and um, the lady um, I've been speaking to, Beth, who sent this she said that she'd put the stickers on each packet because it can be really hard, obviously, especially myself, to be able to distinguish, you know, once I've taken them out, what's what. So I will be keeping them in these packets so I know where I am. This one here was the pearlescent papers and they are beautiful. You can see it's picking up that shimmer really nice. Look at that. Look how rich those colours are. That is gorgeous. I absolutely love that. And that one there. These are beautiful. So you've got that one. So this is just a, a selection that they've sent me to kind of start playing with. But um, again, these are going to look lovely for Christmas. That gorgeous red. Got that colour there. And these. This is something I'm really interested with. I absolutely adore those colours. Again, when they're all, you know, if you are, are die cuts, they're going to look lovely. So that was those. Those weight... The weight of them is, so you've got a few, there's a, a few variations there. So you've got some that are 100, 120, 125. It was really kind of them to send me all of this um, paper and cardstock because there's quite a bit here. So this is the vellum paper. Kind of sw saw the swatches, but here you can see it a bit better. That's again, it's such a nice green. And then got that really nice kind of like, what do they call that? What blue? See, I'd say that's like a royal blue. Oh, they've just got a blue translucent. 
and then you've got this one here is red lacquer translucent vellum that one there is the flame I believe that's your white and that was the spring, spring green so again a really nice selection of vellums there to use then this is the pearlescent card so I was really excited to see these because these are gorgeous and these are really heavy weights so in the order I think yep so this one is I love the names so you've got mojito green that one there is beautiful and that's 290 gsm so it's a really nice heavy card stock so I've got that one then I've got the purple pearl again gorgeous shine to these this one here is orange flame oh look at that that is stunning absolutely beautiful I can't wait to make with these now. Uh, this one here is the turquoise. See, I keep thinking of, but that is how thick it is. It is just, it's lovely. Turquoise pearl, beautiful. Then here we've got sage green, really nice. Then I have the gold pearl, look at that. Oh, like the other one, beautiful. Silver pearl. And then you've got navy blue which is that one there and then I've gone that one there so wrong so it wasn't the right order I jumped one bronze brown that's really nice really rich color yeah that was the navy blue and then you've got here the black Isn't that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so those are some really nice card stocks that I've got then this is the matte card so I would say out of everything this is the kind of stuff that is my bread and butter this is the card and the weight and the kind of colors that I will go to all the time and this is what I use to kind of make you know gift boxes the weights for this is perfect for your card blanks as well so here I have got start that way so I've got tangerine gorgeous tangerine color there bubblegum pink love that pistachio again I love those three together they are really awesome colors um celestial blue am i saying that right celest celestial blue um orange really nice orange scarlet red again real nice christmas red that is then you've got lime green such vibrant colors they're coming up so well um this one here is daffodil yellow and that's the kind of yellows i love i love those just yeah that's it daffodil yellow that's what i i'll call it that's the one i like ocean blue how lovely these look together purple mist teal green dark purple which i love that's coming up more blue than i'm seeing it but it is a um yeah dark purple then this is probably my favorite actually is this neon pink oh my god i love that pink so much and then midnight blue and then the bordeaux matte card there as well so it's a real nice deep red wine color look at them really really nice i've got so many beautiful colors to play with there and again they look lovely like i said as card blanks going to make some gift boxes with these they're going to work really well with the dovecraft collections and then this here is the glitter and holographic card and also i should have mentioned the weights for all of those with the matte card is 240 gsm which is a great way it's a nice size for making your gift bags and gift boxes so this here these are you've got the holographic is 270 and then all the rest are 250 so there's the holographic you know how much i love it but look at that cool effect and it's hitting my lights love that and then these are the non-shedding glitters and they're beautiful so you've got here we've got silver pastel lilac pastel pink and pastel blue but again aren't they absolutely beautiful so much to uh, to play with there i was not expecting them to send me that much so that is really kind and it is something I can already tell I'm going to be using so thank you very much to the paper box limited that was really kind of you to send this to me and I will be using them another thing also I want to just mention about the mat card here is um and also actually everything I think I believe none of it's white core it's all color core which I prefer so again if that's something you wanted to know then um, yeah everything I can see here 
Um, obviously that's different because that's, that's coated anyway with the glitter and the holographic top there but these here are um, yeah they're all colour colour pour which is great and then I picked up this from Paper Chase it was only 85p but you get I think it was three yeah three meters but it's a really nice if I uh, undo the back here really thick really nice trim and I just thought that's going to make lovely handles for gift bags or even to wrap around as a closure on a mini album or something like that so yeah it was just unusual and that's obviously my style so yeah but grab that one for 85p okay so that's everything I can't fit it all in but a huge chunk of this isn't mine anyway it's my mum's but I just wanted to show you kind of what's available at the moment at every crafts a pound because yeah if you want to start getting some Christmas things now and um, yeah you don't like spending a lot which I know a lot of you don't I don't particularly like to spend a lot as well I know I get sent stuff but I still do buy a lot myself so um, yeah when you can pick these things up here for a quid it's a bargain so yeah and again really looking forward to using the papers and the cardstock there from the paper box limited I will show share links to as much as this as possible as I always do in the description box below and uh, yeah let me know what you think let me know if you've already got some of this let me know if you maybe used some of this last year and if you already use cardstock from the paper box as well I'd like to know what you think so thank you for watching and I'll be back again tomorrow with my Friday tutorial thanks for watching bye